guys, welcome back to another episode of Keep It Real TV. Today I got a special treat for you guys. I'm here with my best bud Aaron, and today we are gonna talk about how to cast the spinning rod and how to cast a bait caster. So stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so first we're gonna start off with the bait caster reel. And if you come in, I'll show you some different things about it. So different than your typical open cast reel, the spinning rod, um, the reel is on the top rather than a spinning reel has the reel on the bottom. So when it comes to the reel, you have the spool tension over here. That determines that determines how slow or fast this spool is gonna spin. Here, this is the spool in your line. So when you click the release and you look at the lure, you want it to just slowly fall. You don't want it to fall too fast. Some people like it like that, but um, you can get tangled really, really easily. So I, suggest just as beginning just make it so it's just slowly dropping towards the water that's all you need and then that's set up for you break here the break is what makes this like go super fast super slow if you have it on super fast this will go a lot further and you can end up becoming more accurate but if you're just beginning i suggest just having this all the way on all the way tight or else you're just going to get tangled every time it's going to get frustrating when you cast it you want to you want to hold down on this line because if you just keep it open this can get really loose which will also tangle it the key to, to the key to bait caster rods and reels is what it, if you mess up it gets tangled like that's that's just that's just what it is what you do is you push down on the release like so with the back of my thumb while i'm holding the line and then when you go to throw it just practice practice just over your head like this flick the wrist that's all you need to do the bait caster reel will do the rest trust me you just do this flick of the wrist mo motion and you'll send it halfway across the pond so when you go to cast it time look follow the lure as it's hitting the water and time what you want to do is time the lure right as it's about to hit the water Put your thumb back on the line. Mm -hmm. So it looks like this. Just like that. And then right when you start reeling, this will come back in and you just reel it in. Simple like that. All right, so we understand now how to use bait casters. So now we're gonna talk about how to use a spinning reel. So the, one of the most important things when getting your spinning rod, the biggest thing is how I pull that line up just like that with my finger my index finger pull it up right this allows to when you open what is called the bail with your finger you're holding this line if i was just to let it go it all comes undone it unspools right so you hold that line as you reel up so you hold that line so when you cast it biggest thing you want to remember when you're casting this one of the main points that I always try to remember is I want the notch where my line sits facing upwards most most of the time. You can do it either way, but this allows for when the bales open for there to be less of a snag point. So if this is facing upwards and you go to cast, just like that, and then you close the bale, and I always like to straighten the line out, right? And I'll grab it with my finger again. And as I'm reeling it in, it keeps that tension on the line, which helps eliminate um, snags and different things like that when, it, when it'll knot up on you. So by running it through my fingers, I make sure that my line stays the same. So we have drag, we have our spool, we have our bail, right? And I wanna emphasize one of the biggest mistakes I see beginners make is they do this. So they open up their bail, right? They cast out and they, oops, they do that. That just killed me even doing that. I've never done that before. Um, I knew starting off that that was bad and it's bad for your bail spring. Um, inside here, glad I didn't catch a fish on that. Um, inside here on this side, there's what's called a bail spring. So where that screw is, if you take that screw off, 
there's a spring that sits inside there. It, it looks like a pen spring inside of a pen, but it sits on what's called a detent and it holds that into that notch, which allows this bale to open and close. Um, when your bale spring goes bad, you'll know because it'll open, but then it'll fall. Open and it'll fall and it'll stay like that. And you're not going to be able to effectively cast your rod or reel it in for that matter. So it's important that when you cast, so you cast it out, right? And we'll talk about how to cast here in a minute. That you manually close it with your thumb or your hand or whatever. Do not slam it shut with the reel. Do not do that. You will burn through your reel. Oh, good. You will burn through your reel super fast, and it is a pain. They're not expensive to fix. The springs aren't expensive, but it's just, I mean, it, why put that wear and tear on your equipment when you don't have to? So we know, step one, we're gonna grab that line, and we're gonna hold it, we're gonna hold it fast. Uh, fish just jumped out over there. It's a big fish, Aaron, did you see it? I oh, said, we wigs. saw it. <laughs> Um, so step one, we're going to grab that line with our, with our finger there. We're going to open the bale. And this is where most people think, I just got to launch it. You know, they take off running or they just really, they swing it like a baseball bat. That's not what you want to do. Let the rod tip do the work. And what I mean by that is notice where my hand is. It's my hands here at the bottom and I bring this up and I'm just going to flick it. And notice how my hand does not come off the rod. And look how far it went out there. I mean, it was it's it's halfway across the pond, and I barely even flicked it. So we'll get a slow mo to show what I'm talking about. But it's um, you know that's just one of the biggest mistakes I see people make. They they open this up and they're just like, I mean they I mean they launch it, and there's really no need to do that. I want to emphasize accuracy is more important than distance. You need to be more accurate than you can cast distance. Um, especially when you're fishing bigger reservoirs or you're fishing where there's a lot of cover and a lot of logs that are laid down, you need to be accurate. And you can be just as accurate with a spinning rod as you can be with a bait caster if you cast right. So, like I said, step one, we grab it. Step two, we open. Step three, hand goes on the bottom of the rod. Step four, bring it around. Step five, release. You literally just step six, go. close the bail. And then step six is close the bail. Thank you. Yep. And then step seven, reel in, step eight, catch fish, go home. So <laughs> that's what that's that is the basics of um, the spinning rod and the bait caster. But this is the basics, right? Start with the basics, you start small. You know, don't set such high standards for yourself where you're gonna be trying to come out here, winning tournaments, catching 10 pound bass, it's not gonna happen right off the bat. You gotta start small, right? So that's the basics. We're gonna catch uh, We're gonna catch some fish, hopefully. The sun's really going down, so hopefully we get some good video. I have some video of me catching fish, let's make sure Aaron gets some. And yeah, let's do it. Fish on. Let's do it, let's fish do it. on. That's one. Oh yeah, come on up. This a little guy? <laughs> hey y'all there you have it y'all ever caught a sunfish look at this thing it's like pink it's like pink you guys see it it's like a really cool shade of pink oh big boy Big mama. Whoo! Y'all see that? Oh, man, she hit hard. Glad I got that on video. Oh, you probably ain't gonna believe this. But yeah, look at that mama. She's three pounds, four pounds. Yeah. Good looking fish, man, for sure. Keep it real TV. Fish with me, you catch big fish. You know, that's how it works. 
Boy, she hit that thing hard. Like I say, big fish. They're biting good today, son. I tell you what. Aaron's on his way. He's about 15 minutes out. We're going to get some videos of him catching some hogs. And uh, we're going to show you guys how to or cast a bait caster and a uh, spinning rod. So stay tuned. That's fishing. That's fishing. Catchings when you get them, right? Come on out. Quit fighting it. Quit fighting it. Come on up. Show the people who you are, big mama. Whew. There you have it, guys. Spotted. So you got some birthmarks. But yeah, freaking nice big old fish. Man, she had some freaking. Sandpaper lip, boy. She about freaking cut my thumb. Woo! I don't even, I've lost track. I think I'm at uh, three big ones right now. Three big ones. All right, sit over here. Yep. I honestly thought we both caught one at the same time. I did. She swallowed that. I honestly thought I was snagged on some grass. I'm not kidding. I'm telling you, man, that that drag is absolutely insane. You got your what? My new bait. My other bait caster throw down. Oh, oh, that's a big yes. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a big yes. One. Oh my god. Reel it in, bro. Reel it in. Reel it in. Reel it in. <laughs> It, I, I'm telling you, another gill shot. Look at there. I'm telling you, dude. See, you did the right thing. Is this is this in focus? Is it good? Is it catching you? See, you did the right thing. You know, I told you to move down, and you did it, and it paid off. See, no one else does that. I say, bro, move down. You'll catch more fish, and they're like, okay. And they never do it. Oh, dude, do not wiggle right now. Okay, good. Can everybody see that? Can everybody see it? Good fish. Good job, man.